almost always the books are terrible. But in this case, the book is excellent. The showrunner is really the, the, the creative boss. Every single decision that we make in prep from, you know, what do the handmaid's shoes have laces and what colors are the walls, all of those decisions are, in the end, my, my decision. The biggest thing, I think, is, is you have to remember that a book is a book and a TV show is a TV show and you can't just turn the book into dialogue and expect it to be a good TV show. You have to be willing to make structural changes that keep the story and the feel and the world the same, but change the way the drama lays out because the drama of a book and a novel is so different than the drama of a TV show. It's difficult when you know you win an Emmy and then it's sitting there in the middle of your keyboard and you can't even type around it and you have to take it and throw it in the garbage and go, okay, we're gonna we're not gonna think about that anymore. That was hard for me and I think for everybody just to say, okay, you know, um, we made the first season, we'll be able to make the second season. You know, it wasn't a bunch of other people who did it. Uh, to create the colonies, we did a lot of research. I mean, we, we are a very research-focused bunch. The writers and, and the, um, the art department and the wardrobe department had a big say in creating the look and feel of the colonies. So what we began with was looking at not just historical examples, like not concentration camps, but work camps, um, and work camps in, in the Soviet Union. We looked at those, but we also tried to find the modern equivalent. You know, what are the what are the labor camps like in North Korea? What what are the you know the 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 prisons in America? Where what do they look like? What do they feel like? This place that we do show is a nuclear cleanup. And we looked at um, Fukushima and Chernobyl. And so um, those kinds of things, doing a lot of research all the way down to the clothes that people wear and where those clothes come from. You know, what, what is the, um, uh, you know, are they thrown away clothes from somewhere else? Or do they make them a particular uniform and how the guards work and all those kind of things. We tried, I, I think the first thing was to do research. And the second thing, as we always do, is to say, what would really happen? What would it really be like? Absolutely. I think, I think the book was a call to action. I think season one was a call to action and season two even more so. As June gets better at navigating in Gilead, she is able to make things change a little bit more, to pull more levers of power. The thing I, I, I hope that the show does is say that we live in a difficult world with difficult politics and it's hard to speak out. It's easy to get despair, despairing. But look at Offred and if she can do something, if she can make a difference in her world, if she can find a way to fight, certainly we can because our, we have more freedom than she does. You can't help but be influenced by what's going on in, 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 you know, in the world around you, period. I mean, we have a, our writing staff is news junkies and political junkies and they like keeping up on all of that stuff. But I don't think we, we think about Gilead, we think about June's life, we think about why the commander does what he does. We try not to think about it very much in terms of today, but I think that uh, we certainly are, are happy that our curiosity about the world around us and the real world is being translated and kind of leaking into our Gilead portrayal. I can't think of very many series I've seen that have had good endings, so I'm gonna have to solve that problem myself. Uh, it really is a, it, it is a puzzle. How do you, you know, how do you end uh, a story like this and certainly the one of the most frustrating things but the best things about the book is that it just ends. I don't know what our answer is going to be but when we get there you know we try to solve our problems one little problem at a time so uh, hopefully when we get there we'll have a whole new group of smart writers who will solve that problem for us.